Nike and Jordan brand do this thing when they have a super popular sneaker from back in the day. They release retros and versions of that colorway that are super similar but just not quite an exact match. Well today guys, we got a match. And here we have the box. Take a look. We got a nice big red jump man on the front and of course that sweet elephant print wrapping around the entire sides of the sneaker box. Now let's pop open these bad boys because I cannot wait to get into this sneaker. Here we go guys. We ready? Today's crispy clean pair of Jordan 3 Fire Red. extras you get in the box that are notable is this little thing which I've never seen from a pair of threes kind of like a, just a little user manual which basically just outlines the exact construction of a pair of Jordan threes and then of course attached to the sneaker itself is this little plastic tag and it's literally just a Nike branding but yeah it's it's notable but of course the sneaker itself Let me tell you guys, Jordan Brand has been teasing the people with this sneaker colorway for the longest time. We got the 07 Fire Red Retros, which had the Jumpman on the back. Same thing with the 2013 Retro. The 2020 Fire Red had the Nike Air branding on the back, but they were made of denim and just a little bit different. Well guys, here in 2022, we finally have as close to the original Fire Red Jordan 3s as possible. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna be super excited about this one. Let's find out if these were worth the wait. So real quick, let's get into some release details because these are actually dropping right around the corner. Release date is set for September the 10th, which I believe these were originally supposed to drop this month in August, but just got pushed back like a lot of other sneakers. Retail will be 180 pounds here in the UK or $210 if you're out in the US. So if you want these, be on your toes, be ready for September the 10th because I can imagine a lot of people have been waiting on these and definitely want to try get their hands on them. Now, luckily with the makeup, the colorway, the construction of this pair of sneakers. I feel like Nike was just kind of like, bruh, we have been toying with them for so long. Let's finally just, just do everything. So yes, they did go all in with a lot of OG details and just kept things very, very similar to the originals. I mean, honestly, these things are pretty much identical to the originals. And when I first saw them in hand, I was really thinking to myself, like, why do I think these are different? Or why do I like them more than regular threes? And I really think it comes down to a kind of a combination of different small details. The starter is the leather. I love it. It feels great. It is super soft, super tumbled. I mean, take a look at that toe box press test. It just crumbles and is so buttery in hand. I think one of the things that separates it from a lot of other threes I can't say all of them, but a decent amount of them. It's all over kind of matte. I know that some of the other threes come with a slightly shiny, I guess, finish to it. These thankfully do not have that.
Now, of course, we get that beautiful elephant print around the mud card at the forefront of the sneaker and around towards the back, which I think is the perfect shade of elephant print. Like, they definitely have reworked it to make some of the threes lighter, some of the threes darker, but on here, I feel like it's a nice, in the middle, just perfect look. I mean, even the perforated leather around the eye stays and, of course, the bottom of the tongue, that feels relatively good. You also have the exact same perforated leather around the ankle area that comes in red this time, and it also feels, it feels okay okay, it's not the best leather, but I mean, hey, it feels all right. The sock liner comes in gray and feels super soft to the touch. Same thing on the reverse of the tongue. It's super nicely padded and it just makes these threes super comfortable. Now, another two details that I really like about these fire reds when you compare them to some other Jordan 3s. No more shiny paint around the midsole, which I guess I get it kind of because of the lighting looks a little bit shiny, but it's not actually shiny. It is all over matte, which I just really like the look of. Like, I'm not a huge fan of those really glossy, shiny midsole paints. Again, just contributes a little bit more to, I guess, an OG look and feel. And I guess when they add the shiny stuff, it just makes the shoe look a little bit more plasticky. And then the other detail, which arguably is pretty small, but it's the embroidered Jumpman on the top of the tongue. Guys, it is not outlined. Sometimes on other Jordan 3s, they outlined the Jumpman logo, which is, in my opinion, a very small detail, but kind of makes him look like he's had a couple too many Big Macs. It sounds crazy, but when you see them side by side, you won't be able to unsee it. That outline Jumpman be thick. And I guess now, because Jordan Brand and Nike have been teasing everyone for so long, one of the most important aspects of this sneaker is the Nike branding on the back, which comes through with again the Nike logo in the air which is something that people love. So yeah a lot of people are going to be super happy about that and I just think you guys are going to be super happy with this retro. It's as true to the OG as possible in my opinion. I think it looks incredible. As far as Jordan 3s go this is one of the originals. But let me quickly talk about sizing. I went true to size like I do with most Jordans and they fit perfectly. So that's what I'm going to recommend to you guys. Again if you've tried on a pair of Jordan 3s stick with the same size. But honestly if there was any Jordan 3 that you wanted to to grab this year, I feel like this is one that has to be on that list. So please do let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. But that about wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out, liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.